Brazil police arrest Amazon deforestation gang leader. Here's a summary of the article. Sao Paulo, Brazil. Brazil's federal police last week arrested a man accused of vast deforestation in the Amazon rainforest. Police say businessman Bruno Heller controls an illegal logging operation that destroys forests near indigenous lands in order to raise cattle. According to authorities, Heller's gang is responsible for clearing 6,500 hectares of forest and having illegally appropriated 21,000 hectares of public land along indigenous reserves and environmentally protected areas. The investigations began after the federal police identified a deforested area on the outskirts of the city of Novo Progresso, where part of the forest vegetation had given way to a large cattle ranch. Police say the group irregularly appropriated land near land they already owned and registered it in the National Rural Environmental Registry System, a digital platform used for registering rural lands. Since 2006, Brazil's environmental conservation agency Obama has issued 11 fines and six embargoes against him related to irregularities and deforestation, and the agency even banned Heller from carrying out agricultural activities on his properties, ordering him to remove animals from his ranches. Federal police have said that investigations into Heller and his gang are ongoing. This post received a score of 5,200, with an up-vote ratio of 98%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Not only should this man be locked away for life, but all his assets should be seized and the money used to replant what he chopped down. Sadly you can't replant the Amazon rainforest, please correct me. It will grow back if people let it grow back. The rainforest needs to be protected and it will heal itself. His assets could be used to pay for rainforest security. You can plant, but his point is that it could take generations to return to being the ecosystem that it was. Then replant now so that generations ahead of us will benefit. We need to let go of our instinctual temporal selfishness if we want to have any chance of fighting climate change. There is nothing that can be done to stop current generations from experiencing negative effects from climate destruction. But what we do now could significantly alleviate how hellish the world we leave for future humans will be. If we continue on our current path, we will destroy any decent future for our species to maintain our current luxuries and the profit of giant corporations. A society grows great when old men plant trees in whose shade they shall never sit. Greek proverb. True. Also the best time to plant a tree is yesterday. It's amazing how much damage Bolsonaro was able to do in one term. Same with Trump. We can't let fascists get power back. Sorry. Best we can do is engage them in the marketplace of ideas. Giving them ample time to subvert the democratic process and attempt multiple grabs at power with minimal legal consequence. It really does feel like sometimes democratic countries want to fall to fascism. The way they roll out the red carpet constantly for it to happen. That's part of what makes democracy difficult. It is, given the right environment and people, easily capitulated into fascism. It's why we have to remain vigilant for the signs and counter them. Gang leader, this dude is an actual villain wanting the world to burn. Fuck his life and lock him up forever. Death is too good for him. I'm imagining his henchman with axe tattoos plotting to bust him out like something from a comic book. Some of Lula's positions are disagreeable and some are disappointed but this right here is damn good work. Let's hope the momentum keeps going. This is good news. Imagine thinking you're winning while you destroy the last few percent of the Earth's lungs. It's a bit of a misnomer to say the rainforest is what's making a fair chunk of the oxygen. It's ocean plankton. That being said, we'd lose a good chunk of biodiversity on the planet. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.